In an increasingly volatile market, a market where we can sell off dramatically one day, then rebound even harder the next, I like to visit my big picture themes. Because when you know that a stock is riding a huge long-term trend, it's much easier to avoid panicking on days like yesterday. I'm talking about themes like the multi-year aerospace cycle. We know that there's enormous demand for new, more fuel-efficient planes, which is why Boeing basically has a mile-long waiting list if you want to buy that so-called controversial Dreamliner. But there's more than one way for an airline to get planes. They can buy them or they can lease them. Which brings me to Air Lease Corp, AL, one of the fastest growing aircraft leasing companies that makes the bulk of its money from overseas, particularly the faster growing emerging markets of the Asia Pacific region. It's 44% of the company's revenues. When Air Lease reported back on May 8th, the company blew away the numbers, earning 57 cents a share, 7 cent beat on higher than expected revenues. There was 28.3% year over year. Not many companies with that big revenue growth out there. Industry leading pre tax margin of 38.5%. That was up 1.2 points from the previous quarter and 6.4 points higher than where it was a year ago. Not many companies can raise gross margins in this environment. This is a company with fast growth, terrific visibility, meaning it's easy for management to predict how much they'll make in the future. And even though the stock has run up 23% for the year, it still sells for less than 14 times earnings. Let's check in with Steve Hazy. He is the chairman and CEO of Air Lease Corp. to hear more about his business and where it's headed. Mr. Hazy, welcome to Mad Money. Thanks, Jim. Good nice to, to see you, here. sir. Well, I've got to tell you, I did not know your company until the investor day, and it's rather amazing because you, right up front in the Q&A in the conference call, say that you have two things that are going in your direction that you didn't think of. One, stronger demand for new generation aircraft, and two, lower rates, which enable you to make even better profit margins. This is the halcyon time for Steve Hazy, isn't it? Well, it's, it's an exciting time. The airline industry uh, doubles every 15 years on a global scale. In other words, total passenger traffic increases. Double. Yeah, every 15 years. So, and these airplanes last 25 to 30 years. So there's a huge replacement cycle. And uh, overseas, the airlines are growing at double GDP growth on the average. So okay, well, let's take, uh, you know, you're talking about Middle East growth or, uh, or European growth or Asia Pacific growth. People are going to say, well, look, I don't get that. They need 3,000 planes here there. What does Air Lease have to do that? I mean, you know, are, are they, are, you know, who are they leasing to? How do they make their money? I think that there's you know, a little bit of a background that we need to give people because your explosive earnings need to be explained sure. for people who watch the show? Well, the, the earnings are based on fundamental demand for new airplanes. Uh, 25 years ago, less than 10% of the airline's fleets were leased. Today, it's almost 50%. So this is the fastest growing segment of how airlines acquire airplanes. Uh, these new jets, like 787-9, these are almost $150 million a piece. And airlines have a history of volatility, wow. of instability in earnings. Uh, they're very susceptible to economic cycles. So leasing gives them a really nice way to use somebody else's balance sheet to acquire the latest and best airplanes. But you're basing your moves on the conviction that things are going to stay good, no? That... No, not necessarily. Okay, explain More that. More than 80% of our business is replacing aircraft that the airlines already have that are 20 to 25 years old with new, modern, fuel-efficient, low maintenance cost airplanes. All right, so what's the advantage of, of, of Boeing selling them to you versus Boeing selling them to the actual one, you know, individual carriers? Well, we buy aircraft on multi-year contracts in bulk at deep discounts because we offer the manufacturer a long-term steady stream of deliveries, and then we distribute those airplanes all over the world. So not only we're, we're a predictable buyer for Boeing and Airbus, but we're also a marketing distribution channel for them all over the world. Okay, so when McNerney come, when Jim McNerney comes on our show and he says, listen, you don't understand, we got strong demand, yes. he's thinking about companies like yours. He's looking at his order book and he knows that there are real orders out there. Exactly, and we have the financial capability to perform and show up at delivery, whether it's a year from today or five years from today. We find customers for their airplanes. We generate new markets. We seed new markets. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a real partnership between us, Boeing, and Airbus. Now, why is it uh, I've only known Irish companies that are in the leasing business? What, <laughs> what is it? Is it just a, a – how did that come about? Well, it came about back in the 70s. There was another company that was our competitor uh, called Guinness Speed Aviation. Yeah, Guinness Speed. I used to think right. I have a degree at Guinness, but it turned Tony out to Ryan. be more, much more for the beer side yeah. of things. Exactly. And, and Ireland has a very favorable tax regime. Right. They have a 12.5% right. corporate income tax rate. And they also have a lot of bilateral treaties with other countries that are quite favorable. So it tends to be sort of a haven for leasing companies. But in California, we make more money. We have better relationships with the airlines. 
we're almost like the boutique place for aircraft lessors. Well, I know Boeing was uh, in a conference today saying that things look good. But you're maybe, because of a big customer, you probably have a better view. I is it just a terrific time to have as many airlines on the uh, aircraft on the books as you do? It, it is a good time. Uh, we've never had so many airplanes that are more than 20 years old flying for the airlines okay. today. So we see this huge replacement cycle. Uh, we have investment grade ratings. The company is very well capitalized. We raised two and a half billion dollars of equity. Uh, we have the highest profit margins in the in the sector. Uh, we're the fastest growing in a sector. We have a wonderful management team that has decades and decades of experience. So we have all the ingredients for a real success story on a long term basis. Just a great. Great niche business for the, that people don't know enough about. Thank you so much for explaining to us. I really like this. Okay, that's Steve Hazy, He's chairman and CEO of Air Lease Corporation. They shot the lights out. I think they can do it for multiple years.